Hello and welcome to this unboxing of my Mercenary Warrior um, Warlord uh, series of Reaper models. And I got this chap here because um, for a, well actually he's in a current campaign but um, for future um, future gaming sessions that he may appear in I want him to have a, a, a proper, uh, well a miniature that more readily encompasses what I envisage. Now, my, my um, image of the character is that he's a wannabe knight, so this guy looks perfect. So let's crack him open and have a look. I've never dealt with Warlord series of Reaper miniatures before. So it's, obviously it's a metal miniature. Let's just pop the box to one side a moment. Comes on a square base, which is fine. Um, so, you know, he's designed to go that way which I may I may do but let's have a look um, so he's got partial robes partial armor it's, it's like it's almost like he's collecting his armor over time um, and um, saving up to do that so he's doing a bit of adventuring here and there he wants to go to night school or paladin school or whatever it may be you know <laughs> Uh, I think he'll make a fine addition to my D&D miniatures. So he's got a little boot. So it's quite detailed and I'm quite liking the look of how I want it. I, I could put an, uh, some sort of iconography on his shield. I don't know whether to do that. Get a transfer. A cool transfer. I've got some in stock. Or whether to just leave it blank for now until such time in my D&D story when... He decides on his own coat of arms, as it were, or, or he joins a school, or, or he, I don't know, he finds what he's looking for. He's basically, he's got a backpack, flasks, scabbard, he's carrying his sword, he's got robes, so probably over the top of um, a breastplate, I should th think. Doesn't look like his legs have armour. Um, he's got a helmet and a shield. So, and he's got some good, um, like, adventuring travel boots uh, so it looks like he's well on his way there's not too much flash from what i can see a tiny bit but no biggie and i'm looking super looking forward to painting this guy up um so yeah i may do a tutorial on him as well i may end up doing tutorials on all my reaper um models and other models i get too which is kind of cool because I, I love the Reaper models. I mean, for me, they're the pinnacle of uh, my what I need for D and D, and in some cases, other other RPGs. But yeah, so there he is. His shield's looking quite cool and quite fresh. A uh, little bit fresh, fresh. Yes, he's looking fresh free, flash free. <laughs> and yeah, I just love the look of him. He's. So my my character is like I say he's a wannabe knight he he's a fighter but he he wants more he wants greater um, like honor and ability and he he'd like to fight for a king or a queen ideally uh, join a cause uh, at the moment he's just a kind of a freelance adventurer so that's perfect for that role absolutely perfect see the backpack on him there and all the other details um, I love the little visor on his helmet there. Just brilliant, exactly what I need. So that's 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 the Reaper Bones Warlord uh, Mercenary Warrior that you get in uh, said packaging. So yeah, so thanks very much for watching this unboxing, um, and um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Remember, all brushes lead to war. Bye for now.